More than eight years ago, we announced the idea that the giant Kappa porphyry copper system in northwestern Arizona had been cut by a fault and that the upper copper-rich part of the system was now buried under gravel beneath our mining claims. Our announcement in 2010 that we drilled down and found the faulted off top of a major porphyry copper system has reached the ears of the academic community. And they are itching to put our claim to the test with the most advanced tools available to science. Researchers at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas have approached us with a proposal to test our concept that what we have drilled at CABA is the upper part of the porphyry copper system. Dr. Jean Klein and her graduate student Wyatt Bain in the Department of Geosciences will examine microscopic fluid inclusions in samples from our drill core and also from the nearby root zone outcrops to see if they may once have been part of the same porphyry copper system just as we have claimed. Their work will involve the use of an eczema argon fluoride laser, a microscopically focused ultraviolet laser beam that can drill straight through minerals and pop any pockets of water left over from the original hot water that created the minerals and the copper porphyry system. By testing veins of quartz, both in our core samples and in the nearby root zone, they hope to be able to determine whether the water in our samples and the water in the root zone samples may have once been part of a copper ore forming event 67 million years ago. To convey their excitement to their fellow geoscientists at UNLV, Dr. Klein and Mr. Bain assembled this poster describing what other geologists have learned from other porphyry copper deposits around the world and what they might expect to find in our samples at CABA.